Hi hey guys, it's uh, Danny from the craftbeerdiaries.com and today we've got another nice Belgian ale. Um, this is the Nice Chouf, and I probably pronounced that wrong. As you can tell, Scottish and French doesn't really go well. Um, but it's Nice Chouf, and it's from the Brasserie de Chouf, and that's over in Belgium, um, which is part of the Duvel Moodgard Brewery, um, which is a, a larger brewer, but it's still an independent brewer. And Duvel uh, was actually, and the Moodgard was actually one of the original um, investors, I believe, in Brewery Omnigan, which is a you know a nice little sort of backdrop to it, I guess. But this is like a Belgian ale. It's like um it's a it's a Belgian winter ale. Um it's a got a nice feel at 10%. Um the tasting notes mention thyme and a mixture of you know orange peel spice kind of like a Belgian wit. But you've also got some you know sweeter stuff so some caramel through there maybe a little bit burnt sugar. Um so interesting to see what this tastes like. I never had this before. I uh, picked up my local um LCBO uh, here in Ontario. Um, as a, I'm actually some new beers I spotted over the uh, the weekend, um, and really I went to see the new Star Wars movie on Thursday night, and I was kind of disappointed. So I thought, what better way to you know take my mind off that and grab some new beers to try? And uh, this is like a nice dark Belgian ale. Um, I'm liking the color of this a lot. Um, it's really, hmm, you can definitely smell the orange peel in there. Um, not so much on the the, the sweeter flavours coming out, but um, definitely the it, it's a Belgian, you know, it's like a Belgian wet uh, smell almost, which is where the the romantic and spices that they use come from, you know, similar to what they use in Belgian wits. So um, let's have a look. It's a, a nice chouf. Um, and like I said, it's kind of a winter beer, like a winter Belgium. So uh, let's uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Different, um, ten percent. It's um, you know, it's it's a it's a stronger beer for sure, but it's not a strong ten percent. If that makes sense, it's uh, it's not, um, you know, too strong for you to to drink uh, and to drink you know um, smoothly. It's got a nice smooth finish, even though it's a ten percent uh, beer with uh, spices in it. Not really tasting the spices. Um, I'm definitely getting the the orange peel. Um, the sugar kind of comes through the burnt sugar, and there's more. There's almost like a little licorice taste to this, um, which you know maybe you know along with the, the ingredients maybe explains you know some of the darker colouring here. Um, but yeah, that's um, this is quite a nice drink. It's um, it's definitely you can t taste it's a Belgian. You know, Belgian ale is kind of have a, a very distinct um, taste on the palate, and uh, you can definitely taste it as a nice Belgian ale. Yeah, not really interesting. Not really tasting the caramel. They do mention it's got like a, you know, a bit of an aftertaste of cherry raisin, um, which again isn't really coming through. So it's 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 interesting. The taste the notes that um, that you know from the brewery itself don't quite match up, at least for me anyway. Um, and what I know, I'm just a a beer fan, so I'm not a beer purist or a beer you know expert. Um, but definitely the tasting notes don't really kind of match the the drink. Now, it may be that as you go further through it, um, these start to come through, um, which has happened, you know, quite a few times in the past um, where I've tasted initially something that I thought was different and then the actual taste start to come through. And now that I feel it, now that I mention it actually, I can actually taste the, 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 the raisin, the cherry raisin start to kick in um, as, you know, the beer starts to eat itself into my system. Which is nice. It's a nice surprise. It's a it's a nice little you know a nice little glow there. So anywho, this has been um, Nice Chouf. Um, it's available with the LCB up. Um, not sure if it's uh, further afield. Uh, like I said, it's a Belgian import. Um, and unless you're in, in Belgium and you can go direct to the brewery, you may not be able to get this. But it's a Belgian ale. Uh, if it's something you can pick up at your LCB if you're here in Ontario, or you know someone that can maybe ship it to you, a friend or something. Definitely well worth trying out. It's little stubby bottles, um, so it's easy enough, you know, to, to pick up a few of them. 10%, but a very smooth 10% of that. Anyway, happy Saturday, guys, and cheers.